So in 2010, my brother and I started a small wine import company in Canada and I went and got my certifications, my WSET training for, for wine. And then it was bringing together my three passions, which wine was becoming much more, much, much, much greater passion of mine. Uh, my art and then my insane love of cars and all things automotive. So we originally looked at a couple of drawings, some sketches that I had done that you, your, to the team at Preston Porsche had, had chosen as, a, as kind of the inspiration. Um, I think I did nine different drawings to kind of get to where we ended up. I found what I thought was a really lovely angle. It's got some nice motion in it. Um, so it's all done in charcoal, um, all by hand. Um, you know, it's kind of that blend of hyper-realistic, but it's still free-flowing enough that there's still some kind of, it's a drawing, it's not just an emulation of, of real life. Um, and then you've got the new, these great new colors, the Provence colors, which I thought were beautiful. And so by elevating the drawing to be the next level, we took and kind of splashed it, a splash of color. Um, and depending on what label they get, there's actually three shades of the Provence in the paint that I use. So some bottles will have all three, some will only have one, because um, it's just everyone's done by hand. We, uh, what I've done is uh, committed to that every bottle. So for example, in the wine that we make in Italy, um, the entire vineyard is run off of solar and wind. It uses nothing off the grid, so it's the most green vineyard in the world. But I took the calculations of what a conventional bottle would take to make, and then I times that by three, and I invest that back into carbon credits. So I do it times three, no matter how much we've done on our side, I'm still trying to offset kind of the greater industry for what little I do as, as the little guy. But I just think it's, um, you know, it's, if you know you can never erase the problem, make sure you're overcompensating for the, for the problem.